Bruce Wayne here with another one of my adventure stories. So when we were younger, I was about six years old at the time, six, seven years old, and we were living at um, Independence City or, and, um, and also when we moved to Miami Drive in particular, I remember at that time, you know, things that would happen to us along the way. So we were christened Catholics. And so we all had to go to church on Sundays like it was pretty traditional things to do. And of course, when you have boys, discipline is a big part of it. And so my, my mom never actually disciplined me. She never beat me. She beat me once, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But I remember Wayne cut in church and, and going fishing instead. And then while he was out fishing, interestingly enough, he got a hook that was stuck in his finger. And Wayne was tough as nails back then. Wayne would step on a bottle barefoot and the bottle would break and nothing would happen to his feet. It was just crazy the things he would do. So, so what happened is that he got the hook stuck in his finger and so he actually, he was sitting there with a knife trying to cut his finger open because he's just ruthlessly, he just doesn't, <laughs> Wayne doesn't care. And he's cutting his finger all the way through trying to get the hook out of it and he couldn't get it out of there so i remember you know he finally got busted because he went home and said look i got this hook stuck in my finger and my father took him to the hospital and they had to give him a bunch of stitches to get the hook out i remember us um wayne falling off a ladder because he was out working with my dad and he got hung up and he got when he fell off the ladder there was a nail sticking out of the ladder because these were wooden ladders and and the nail impaled Wayne by his arm and he's holding on like this and so of course that was another trip to the hospital. I remember Michael which uh, my other brother uh, um, he fell out of an almond tree because we there was an almond tree we always used to climb it when we were at Miami Drive and, um, and he he actually he fell out but when he fell out on his way down a branch got stuck in his throat and so he came in the house with this big branch because they broke off a piece at the end because they couldn't pull the branch out for some reason. And that's how he went to the doctor with this branch sticking out of his mouth in there. And also my brother Colin, when we lived um, over um, in, I think it was in Miami Drive or Bridgeport, I can't remember, but the houses were so close to each other that we were jumping, oh, it was Bridgeport when we moved in with our aunt Barbara at the time, that's a story that's coming up. And we were jumping from roof to roof because the, the, it, was, it was just so close to each other. And Colin, he was not, he was the smart one, but he wasn't the most physically active, I wouldn't say physically active, he had sickle cell. And so therefore, it, from a physical perspective, he was limited somewhat, but it didn't stop him from doing anything. In fact, he was the most adventurous and inquisitive person I've ever met. And, um, and in terms of that, when he tried to jump from one roof to the next, to the next he missed. And he fell off the roof and landed on his butt. And, you know, we're boys, we're laughing at it. But I, I'm looking back at this point, I'm like, boy, that must have been pain, very, very painful at that time.